In this video, we will show you how to create and set up a trusted SSL certificate infrastructure for your IoT solution. We will use the Certificate Manager tool that is included in the Mako Server tutorials. We recommend reading the Certificate Manager tutorial prior to using this tool. The Certificate Manager tool can be downloaded from the tutorial page, but do not download this version since the Mako Server tutorials include a copy of the same tool. We also need the server-side IoT tutorial, which is not included in the standalone Certificate Manager. Instead, navigate to the Mako Server page and download the Mako Server for your platform. We are downloading the Mako Server for Windows, but you could also use the Linux version if Linux is your operating system. Install the Mako Server after you have downloaded the server for your platform. You can install the server in any directory. The Windows version will ask you in a console window if you want to install the tutorials. You must select Yes for this option. We need the Certificate Manager tool and the IoT server side example code included in the examples. Linux users can run the included Linux script for downloading and running the tutorials. Note that the download is not designed to operate behind a network that requires a proxy connection for reaching the Internet. Notice that the Certificate Manager downloads the OpenSSL command line tools when run on Windows. These tools are used by the web-based Certificate Manager tool. Linux users must make sure they manually install OpenSSL prior to running the Certificate Manager. The Mako server attempts to open port 80, the default port for HTTP. The port number used is printed in the Mako server console window. Make sure you also add the port number to the URL you enter in the browser if the server is not listening on the default port number. Our server is listening on port 80, thus we can simply enter the domain name localhost. The complete URL for the certificate manager is localhost forward slash CERTMGR forward slash. Using the certificate manager, we will first create a certificate authority certificate aka root certificate, and then use the Certificate Manager for creating a certificate for our server. We must select Elliptic Curve Certificate and enable Shark SSL mode. See the written tutorials for details. A certificate must, at a minimum, include the common name. The root certificate we are creating is only used for signing purposes. Thus, you may enter any descriptive name for this certificate. We are using the name RTL Root Cert which is short for Real-Time Logic Root Certificate. After you have created the Certificate Authority Certificate, click on the link Create Certificate. The next step is to create a certificate for the Mako server and the IoT server example code. The embed board we will set up later will securely connect to the server-side IoT example code running as part of the Mako server tutorials, and the certificate is required for setting up a trusted connection. One would normally enter a domain name in the common name field, but we do not have DNS on our local test network. However, the common name can also be an IP address. We use the IP address of the computer where the Mako server is running. This is the IP address we will later enter into the embed example source code. When we click on Create Key and Certificate, a private key and certificate are created. The certificate is signed using the root certificate we created in Step 1. Click Issued Certificates after you have created your certificate. All certificates created are shown on this page. Click the certificate you created to get to the certificate test page. The test page enables us to immediately test the certificate. The Mako server creates a temporary HTTPS listen object with the new certificate and installs the object in the server. Clicking the generated link makes your browser open a secure connection to this HTTPS listening object. Although the certificate is correctly signed, the browser throws up a certificate warning since the server does not know the signer of the certificate. That is, the browser does not have a copy of our public certificate authority certificate we created in step 1. What we must do is install this certificate in the browser. The certificate authority certificate we created using the certificate manager is in the folder .certmgr-db in your home directory. There will be an additional subdirectory for each certificate database you create. On Windows, a Certificate Authority certificate can be installed by double-clicking on the certificate. 
This certificate will then be available to all browsers on this computer, with the exception of Firefox, which uses a different concept. The name CA.P12 is a Certificate Authority Certificate in a format that can be installed in the Windows Certificate Store. The Windows Certificate Store wizard opens when you double-click on the certificate. Follow this wizard and simply click Next on each page without entering any values on any of the pages. We must restart the browser after installing the Certificate Authority Certificate in the Windows Certificate Store to force the browser to reload this database. Click on the Certificate Test link again after the browser has restarted. The test page should now be trusted by your browser. The page is trusted since the browser found the Certificate Authority Certificate we installed in the Windows Certificate Store. This is the certificate we used when signing the server certificate. The server certificate is now trusted since the certificate is correctly signed and the browser now also trusts the signer. That is, the browser also trusts our Certificate Authority Certificate since the certificate is in the Windows Certificate Store. We are now done with creating all the certificates needed for our IoT example infrastructure. Navigate to the IP address of the computer running the Mako server and the tutorials. You may have to enter a colon followed by a port number if the server is not listening on the default port 80. You should see the Mako server tutorials. Change from an HTTP connection to an HTTPS connection. Note that you must again set the correct port number if the server is not listening on the default HTTPS port number, which is 443. The browser should throw up a certificate warning, since the signer of the default SSL certificate embedded inside the Mako server is unknown to the browser, i.e. the Certificate Authority certificate is not in the Windows Certificate Store. To make the Mako server's HTTPS connection trusted, we must install the server certificate we created in the Mako server, so the Mako server loads our new certificate instead of the certificate embedded in the Mako server. Open your favorite text editor and create a file called mako.conf. This file should be saved in the Mako server installation directory. The complete syntax for this file can be found on the Mako server website on the command line options and configuration page. What we do is to create a cert file and key file entry in the mako.conf file that points to the certificates we created using the certificate manager tool. The Mako server must now be restarted. Close the Mako server console window and start the server and all tutorials by running the Mako server tutorial script in the Mako server installation directory. This script instructs the Mako server to load all tutorials. Verify that the Mako server loads your certificate. See the Mako server console window for details. We also recommend restarting your browser to make sure the browser is not caching anything. When the browser restarts, navigate your computer's IP address using a secure HTTPS connection. The connection should now be trusted by your browser. We are using the Chrome browser, and you can get detailed information about the server certificate by clicking on the padlock. You should see that the certificate is issued by the issuer, the name you entered into the common name field in the Certificate Manager when you created the Certificate Authority Certificate. In our case, the name is RTL Root Cert. You can get various details about the server certificate by clicking on the tabs in the certificate information pop-up. For example, the details page shows that this is an elliptic curve cryptography, or ECC, certificate. The Certificate Path tab shows the chain of trust. This certificate has no intermediate signer. The certificate is directly signed by the Root Certificate Authority. We have now completed the certificate creation, installed the certificate in the Mako server, and verified that the certificate is trusted by the browser. The next step is to set up the EdgeNode software, compile the code, and install the firmware in a device. In this tutorial, we use an embed board. You can use any network-enabled embed board. We will be using NXP's Freedom K64F. You must also create an embed account if you have not already done so. In the Embed Workspace Manager, import the Shark MQLED example and modify the code for your board as explained in the README file. Make sure you also change the target board so you compile the code for the correct embed board. 
open the file m2m-led-sharkmq.c and scroll down to the line containing the macro for setting the server domain name. The example is, by default, set up to connect the real-time Logic's public SMQ test broker. Change the name to the IP address of the computer where the Mago server is running. Click the Compile button to compile the example code. If the code compiles without any errors, an embed bin file for your embed board will be downloaded to your computer's download folder. Copy the bin file to the embed board. The embed board shows up as the eDrive when you plug the board via USB to your computer. The embed board should automatically reboot when the bin file, i.e. the firmware, has been copied to the embed board. You should make sure you have a terminal window connected to your embed board. Information on how to set up a terminal can be found in the online embed help files. Status and error messages are printed to the terminal window. As you can see from the terminal window, the connection to the Mako server running on your computer failed. The device does not trust the server certificate since the signer of the server certificate is not known to the device. The device has a certificate authority store and the certificate authority certificate we created is not in the device certificate authority store. The certificate manager created several versions of the public certificate authority certificate. The header file rtl-ecc-ca-pem.h is a special version of this certificate that can be used by Shark SSL. The header file version is particularly useful in devices with no file system. Drag and drop this file into the embed workspace. The next step is to include this header file in the m2m-led-sharkmq.c source code. Replace the original Certificate Authority header file with the new header file representing your Certificate Authority certificate. Copy the name of this certificate and replace the name in m2m-led-sharkmq.c with the new name. The code you want to replace is almost at the end of the source file. Look for the function shark SSL underscore set calist and replace the last argument with the name from your certificate authority header file. What we are doing is to set the certificate authority store for shark SSL. When you are done, compile the code and copy the new bin file to the embed board. The embed board should reboot and connect to your Mako server. The embed board is connecting to the SMQ broker that is part of the Mako server tutorials running in the Mako server. The embed board should now trust the server certificate and make a successful connection. In the browser, navigate to the Mako server's IoT tutorial page and scroll down to the SMQ LED web interface button. Clicking this button should open the browser-based example code. JavaScript code running in the browser connects to the SMQ broker running in the Mako server and queries for connected devices. The embed board connected to the broker should show up on this page. You may then proceed to control the LEDs on the connected embed board. This video does not show the embed board. Thus, you will not see the LEDs changing when we click the web interface. However, the number of connected browsers is printed in the embed terminal window. You can see the number of connected browsers change when we open and close the web interface. This video provided a tutorial on how to manage the certificate infrastructure. See the written tutorials for more information on how the LED example works.